Hi there, I'm Andrew Miramacoom. And I'm Sean Fade Fay. And this is Golf Getaway on the Mornington Peninsula. In today's show, we're on the Mornington Peninsula, an hour south of Melbourne, Australia. And in the next half hour, we're going to find out why this is possibly the world's best golfing region. We'll check out the region's most popular water hazard. Have a nearest the pin competition with one of the world's tallest golfers. Get some great tips on how to best play the golf courses down here. Talk to AFL great Peter Hudson about his passion for golf. Have a few too many at a world-class winery and find out why the Mornington Peninsula is such a popular destination for tourists and golfers alike. I've got a real connection to the Mornington Peninsula and for first timers like you, Fate, this is gonna be special. Can't wait. Golf on the Mornington Peninsula is almost a compulsory pastime. They've had some fantastic players and they've certainly got their share of stunning golf courses. And to explain why, I'm here with John Gann, the GM of the National Golf Club, a 54 holer. Welcome to the show, John. Thank you, Andrew. John, what is it about Mornington Peninsula and golf? Oh, golf on the Peninsula is fantastic, Andrew. There's great diversity with all the different courses, so there's options for everyone. Um, there's the pay-for-play courses all the way through the private memberships, and each experience that you have here is just blows you away. Uh, the courses, the topography, everything about it is just set up for golf. This course alone has an amazing history. Greg Norman, Peter Thompson, Robert Trent Jones Jr., a who's who of golf. How did that all happen? Uh, 25 years ago, uh, the club originated, it started from scratch, and uh, Robert Trent Jones Jr. came over from America to build the course in the scrub that we had uh, on the land. Some 10 or so years later, the course uh, developed into a 54-hole complex, uh, and what better uh, icons of Australian sport than Peter Thompson and Greg Norman uh, to build those courses for the club. And do you get many international visitors this far south? Oh, we do, uh, and the Mornington Peninsula is such a great destination, and, and worldwide we're trying to promote it as an opportunity to come down here, and there's so many great courses, so it is something that we are developing. Why wouldn't they come yeah, down? Exactly. John, with so many beautiful golf courses, how does someone coming down to the region choose a great course for them? Oh, Andrew, that, that is one of the features of the Peninsula. There's so much diversity that there really is a, a market for every golfer. Um, there is golf really serious golf, there's really fun golf, and there's bits in between. For the membership, for the pay for play, it's all down here. People have just got to get down here. Well, John, thanks for your time today. I'm off to see Fade at one of the region's most famous water hazards. When we told people we were going to the Mornington Peninsula to play a lot of golf, you know what they told us? Peninsula Hot Springs. We've come up straight after a hard day's golf for a bit of a relax and a look around. You know, all this hot water, the hot springs, let's hope it loosens up the old swing, you never know. Nothing can do that, Fade. Golf getaway, what do you reckon, guys? Yeah! Let's get into it. Mirror's out in the pools, I'm in day spa dreaming, waiting for Al, who's going to give me a massage and work on my swing. That should be pretty good. Hi, Mr. Fade. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm going to be a spa therapist today and give you a beautiful massage. Really? Well, look, guys, so I'm looking forward to it. I've got a few problems. You know, like I'm, I'm a famous golfer. You've probably heard of me. Absolutely did, yes. Most people have. <laughs> and I just need to sort of loosen up, loosen up my shoulders and my back. What can you sure, do for me? Absolutely. Giving you a nice massage around your hip area, up to the spine, especially on your shoulder, a bit of stretching and pressure from movements. Let's go. Okay, come through. <laughs> Oh. Ooh, that, that's, that's good, so that's the lower back. Mm. Lower back, and we're going up to your spine, especially around your shoulders. Mm. Oh, mm. that was already a lot. Oh, I can feel those clicks. That, that's a swing coming right. Mm. How does that feel? Oh, that feels fantastic. Loser. I wonder what poor Mira's doing. I'm with Ashley Kay, the marketing coordinator here at Peninsula Hot Springs. Ash, how did it all come about? It came about from a dream back in Japan when one of the owners, Charles, was sitting in an onsen. But um, it was in 1997 that they actually purchased their land because there was research to uh, say that there was hot springs here on the Mornington Peninsula. 
It wasn't until 2005 that they actually opened this beautiful facility. And where does the water come from? There's a Selwyn fault line 637 metres down, so the water's drawn up from there. It's naturally thermal. And why would I, as a golfer, come here? Yeah, it's for um, muscle, muscle repair. It strengthens your bones and relieves stress. Strengthens your bones? How does it do that? Oh, there's minerals in the water. So there's calcium, magnesium, amongst many others. Wow, extra benefits, eh? Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. So Ash, we're in the wine barrel. What other types of people do you get down here? Well, our mission statement is international understanding through hot springs. So therefore we get both local Melbourne, people from Melbourne, and also overseas, America, Asia, Europe, you name it. <laughs> and any famous people? Yeah, we get movie stars, singers, sports stars. <laughs> anyone you can name? No, not anyone I can name. <laughs> well, Fade, how are you feeling? <laughs> Pretty relaxed, mate. Al, Al did a hell of a job on my back, I tell you that. I really feel relaxed. Not surprised, mate. All the day spa treatments, the 30 plus pools, and the nine golf courses within a 5k radius. What a great place to come. I must be golf is heaven. <laughs> Here's to Peninsula Hot Springs. Back to the golf. Oh, do we have to hurry? We're here at Moonar Links on the open course. This is the seventh. It's a 149 metre par three, and with me is Chris Ancy. Chris. Does being this tall help your golf? <laughs> it doesn't hurt it. It's, uh, I get a bit of distance on the shots, but uh, a lot of things can go wrong in the backswing. And what happens? Have you got longer clubs than I have? Uh, I, I do have longer clubs, and I've been told that I buy them from the same store as you, except I get mine from the men's section. You obviously get yours from the kids' section. That'll keep. <laughs> that will keep. 2012, 2013, your first year as a coach with the Tigers. How did it go? Uh, it, it went well. We, we didn't get where we wanted to be. We didn't make the finals. But look, I learned a lot individually as a coach. We learned a lot about the group and the group got to learn a lot about me. So the Melbourne Tigers is heading in the right direction. I'm, I'm really glad to be a part of the team I captained for five years at the end of my career. Well, and, and you're, the transition from being a player to a coach, how did that go for you personally? It, it went well and I think I found it as, as interesting or I took as much enjoyment as in the younger kids, uh, I guess, progression and success as I did my own towards, towards the end of my career. And I've travelled some amazing places. I've played in different countries and I like sharing what I've learned over the years. And I've had a lot of different coaches and I, again, I've, I've now got a team to share those, uh, those experiences with. How does golf help your basketball? It relaxes me. It, it, it enables me to switch off. It, it, it enables me to just uh, spend a good four or five hours with good friends. It lets me see the world. It lets me see different parts of the state. And uh, you know, I, I haven't played on an ugly golf course yet. So, you know, golf courses are a beautiful part of the world usually. Uh, there certainly is. Um, you know, when you're a celebrity like we are, big <laughs> celebrities, um, Vicious rumours sometimes abound, and, and there, well, there's a little bit of a rumour that, that you can get a an antsy if you pardon the pun <laughs> I see, on, on a golf I, I course. I see what you've done. No, look, I, I, I have been known to throw the occasional club and drop very the occasional. Very, very occasional. Drop the occasional swear word, but I've, but oh. I've mellowed out a lot. <laughs> Jeez, I hope you have, mate. Uh, I'm going to be the middleman in this argument, but a bit of the stepping stone or the linking piece. Chris, it's customary on Golf Getaway that we have a nearest to pen with all our celebs. Okay. You keen? I'm very, very keen. Not very confident, but I'll, I'll have a crack. You, you've obviously heard about us. I, I have heard about you, and I, I, I've, I've heard you hit them okay, so a little nervous. All right, mate. Well, you go first, eh? Beautiful. And if you don't mind, Chris, after those rumours, I'll just stand a little bit. You go and do that. Now, make sure you keep your back straight, and good luck. Thank you. I think. Well, we all got on the green. Chris was long, why I'm not surprised about that. <laughs> Just like I'm not surprised you're short. <laughs> it's not like, hey, Burra. God, uh, I, 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 yeah, that, that, that's not even funny or fair. That's... I'm gonna live with the guy. Why don't you putt it out? I oh, will go and putt it out, cheers. Slam dunk it, slam dunk it. Just tap this one in for birdie. Oh. Well, didn't get the birdie, boys, but thanks for having me. Appreciate hey, listen, it. Closest to the pin are like national championships. They're not easy to they, win. They are not. I'll, I'll have another crack another time. Cheers, boys. Thanks for being thanks. on the show. You're welcome. 
Craig, we had an interesting message on Facebook the other week from a Steve, the Vines WA. He wants to know how to do a flop shot. And I've got to say, I'm very similar. Eh? I sometimes just lack the confidence to just to go for it. Well, that, that's, that's the key word right there. First of all, the most important thing is to have plenty of loft on your club. So get your lob wedge out. Don't use a sand iron or your pitching. Use your most lofted club in your bag. And if you don't have a loft wedge, or if you don't have a, you just got a sand wedge. You have to use your sand wedge. There's no choice, is there? But then you'll have to open it up. So your standard sand iron has 56 degrees. Turn it into 64 degrees by opening up your club face. Show me. All right. So the first thing, as I said, get your most lofted club. Secondly, get the ball position right off your front foot. Okay, so that way you can slide the club underneath the golf ball. Because you don't want to compress it like we did with our knockdown shot. You want to slide the club under the ball. So once I've got my setup, the ball's a long way forward. You can see the angle of the club face is way open. Yeah. Now once I've got my position, I'm going to commit to it. 100%. There's no going backwards from here. Big long swing, try and slide the club under the ball. You really committed to it, didn't a you? Commitment, and you can see once again the nice big divot. All, right, all, right, all, all right, yours. All right. Big divot, yeah. Let me have a crack. So get that ball right forward off your stance. Let's o open that club face up. There open we go. That. Have it flat like that. There we go. God, it feels open. Have a practice swing first. Feel the slide of the slide the club under the ball. There we go. And commit. Commit. Like that. There we go. Make yeah. sure the club slides under the ball. Ooh. Okay. Let's be aggressive. Not bad. Hey. The biggest mistake amateurs make is falling back, and that's exactly what you do. You've got to make sure you stay forward the whole time. Don't try and lift it, just slide the club under the ball. I'm not an amateur, Craig. I'm a very good golfer. Is that right? Sometimes on Golf Getaway, we have the absolute privilege of having legends on the show. Today's one of those shows. I'm with 1971 AFL Premiership winning player and Hall of uh, Fame inductee, Peter Hudson. Peter, welcome to Golf Getaway. Thanks, Andrew. Peter, 1874, that's how many goals you had in your 18-year career. Is that a record for the AFL? Well, it's a fair few goals, and uh, I kicked it over two states, Tasmania and Victoria. Tasmania, where I was born and bred. And uh, over a 10-year period, a broken 10-year period with the Hawthorne Footy Club in the, in the VFL, as it was called then. So, yeah, it was a fair few goals. I don't know that it's necessarily a record, but it took a bit of kicking, it's I can tell you bad, that. It's not bad, though, is it? <laughs> Now, I'm a Kiwi living in New South Wales, playing golf in Victoria, and I believe you got second in the Brownlow. What is the Brownlow? Well, the Brownlow is the award for the best and fairest player in the whole of the AFL now, and used to be VFL, and I was, uh, I ran second in that, which was a great honour, and I was beaten by a guy by the name of Ian Stewart, who won three of them. I think he could have let me have one, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it was a great honour, and it's very hard when you play full forward or uh, to accumulate a lot of votes to win a medal like that, but I'm very proud of the fact that I was a runner-up. Mm. And your son, he played in a premiership for Hawthorne as well, 20 years after you, is that correct? Yes, well I played in the 1971 Hawthorne premiership side, and then he played in the 1991 premiership side, and there are very few fathers and sons that have done that particularly for the same club, so we were very proud of that. Oh, it must have felt very special. Mm. And you're a member at the Dunes? Yes, I love the Dunes. Yeah, I've got a, a house in the area, a holiday house, and I play here and I love the course. It's a magnificent course. Anyone that has never played here should come and have a game because I think you go a long way to find a better course, to be honest. Moor and I have popped the clubs into the boot to go into a spot of my second favourite activity. Wine tasting. Warrington Peninsula is famous for its wines with moderate temperatures, high rainfall and fertile soil combining to produce wine with an intense fruit flavour. With us today is Trent Williams from Red Hill Estate. This is an amazing spot Trent, tell us about it. Yeah it's not a bad place to turn up to work every day. Um, you're looking straight across Western Port Bay to Phillip Island, uh, famous for the MotoGP uh, and visiting the penguins um, and out to Bass Strait in the open ocean. Trent. You obviously have some climate challenges in this particular spot. I've just been on your golf course for the last two days. 
How does that help or hinder what you do? Well, obviously, uh, we're a cool climate region. Uh, today, we're a cold climate region. Um, that helps us uh, in terms of uh, specifically Pinot Noir, uh, which likes a long and cool ripening period. I obviously got here a little bit late in the season for the grapes, but I was reading on your website an amazing event called Burning of the Cane. What's that all about? Yeah, burning of the canes is fantastic. It's a lot of fun. We uh, literally take the cuttings uh, of our pruning of the vineyard. And when um, do you do that? Uh, very shortly, actually, probably in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, and we, we stockpile them up and make a big bonfire event and have a big uh, celebration dinner uh, as we light the bonfire. Trent, you have the burning of the canes, winter wine weekends, barrel art. You obviously have a lot of fun here. We do. We do have a lot of fun. Um, we, we have a, a restaurant that's open every day. Uh, we have a two bedroom cottage that's sitting on the property with this amazing view. We have wine tasting. Wine tasting? Yes, Sean, we have wine tasting. <laughs> well, you know, I've been out in the wind for the last couple of days. I, I think it's about time we, we? we went and had a look at oh, that day. So, Sean, this is our cellar door. Welcome. Don't walk too slow, Trent. Seeing a sensational fish pond out there what kind of makes me think I might have some of your famous Mornington seafood for dinner tonight. What would you recommend? Sean, I'd probably recommend one of our Chardonnays. Uh, this one in particular um, just picked up a trophy at an international cool climate wine show event uh, really? not too long ago. How about we try that? Let's get that out of the bottle, Trent. Sure. As Mira said, Intense fruit flavour. As I say, that's a damn good Chardonnay. Give me 10 cases. I'll take your credit card. We've got a deal, mate. <laughs> okay. Any more wine and Faye's never going to play golf again. I'm off to the rescue and we're back to the golf. David Stew from Kalgoorlie Golf Club. Got a lot of long bunkers on the course. Having a few issues getting out. What have you got for them? Andrew, I think the number one thing is, first of all, is use enough uh, club with, with loft so you can get the ball out. And the second thing is to make sure you have your stance nice and wide so you can rotate through the ball and not hit too much down on the ball. Okay, you want to show me? Okay, so Andrew, nice wide stance. So you're going to wide the stance open, get the feet nicely firmed in and let your body rotate to get the ball out of the bunker. Nice. Do you mind if I have a go? No, sure. Go right ahead. Make sure you have a nice wide stance and rotate your body through the ball. Okay. Fantastic. Very good. Well, Fate, what a week we've had on the Mornington Peninsula. Very special. I mean, there's swimming, there's diving, you, know, you, you, you can go to the wineries, you can just about it, or the, the hot springs, you almost forgot those, and, and of course, there's golf. Well, there it is. I'm Andrew Mira McComb. And I'm Sean Fade Fay. We hope you've enjoyed Mornington Peninsula and had half as much fun as what we had. For more, videos, special offers and information, go to golfgetaway.com.au or like us at facebook.com forward slash golfgetawaytv. Bye for now.